Welcome to the show. So, speaking of things blowing up, <laughs> what a segue. North Korea got pretty feisty this week. Kim, tell us about our resident Korean specialist. <laughs> He's blowing his nose. Kim Jong Ye Chan. Jeez. Did I say that right? His yes. last name's Kim, actually. Yeah, but you say it. Yes. Go on. Uh, North Korea, right? Mm. <laughs> Sorry, that wasn't funny. Keep going. Should we call you Kim Ye Chan? Well, that's what my parents would call me, yes. Oh. What's your middle name? Koreans don't have middle names. So what? what's the Kim Il and Kim Jong? Most Asian Kim is a surname. Yeah, yeah. Right? So, yeah, but so have the two parts Kim. to all their names, right? Kim Il Sung, Kim Jong Un. Kim Jong Il. But yeah, Kim... so what's the, is that two separate? No, no, it's one word, two <laughs> syllables. Like ah. like Jono. So Kim Ye Chan. Yeah. Hey. hey. <laughs> is that how you say it? Yes. So they say it backwards there. It's not backwards. It's just well, it's not, surname first. It's not backwards for them, but it's backwards for us. No, yeah. it's not backwards. It's surname then first name. Right. But I say Kim first, so technically it's backwards. Kim Ye Chan. <laughs> yeah. What's the story? And every career. <laughs> Jono has had it. So Jono has had it with you, Jeff. Um, <laughs> did you guys know that every Korean name has three syllables, including the surname? Yeah. Wow. Right. And Kim, every everyone. every single one. And every Korean surname is a single syllable. Kim, Park, oh, Jung, wow. Poon, Poon, <laughs> Yoon, Soon, oh. Moon. Every Korean, um, every Korean I know, it works. That's right. Kim Lee. <laughs> What else rhymes with Dune? Loon? 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 June? Soon? Uh, yeah, there we go. So, three syllable names. So, why are we talking about North Korea besides the syllables of their names? <laughs> Just realize it's meant to be Kim Ye Chen this yeah. whole time. Can That's you introduce right. yourself on the podcast like that? I can now. Okay. Uh, Kim Kimmy, oh, Kim Jong Un, mm. he's a bit trigger happy these days. Mm. He mm. likes to flex his muscles. And basically, uh, there's, a, for something. there's a U.S. Marine Corp that have arrived in Australia mm -hmm. for routine training. In Darwin. And in Darwin, which is in the Northern Territory. That's, that's where all the crocodiles are. Mm -hmm. We yep. stay away from there. Salties. Salties, yep. Freshies too. Freshies too. Freshies, that's <laughs> salties. <laughs> Racist. <laughs> what? Uh, and uh, North Korea has come out and said, this is an act of war. The... Uh, well, them landing is actually. Yeah, that's yeah. right. They said if Australia helps America in a military action, we will. Oh, is that what set it off? Mm. Oh, I mm. thought it was because Julie Bishop said something when Mike Pence was over. It's well, all. It's over. I think it's weeks, yeah. So. I think yeah. it's all adding up, and that's what tipped the that scale. Like the mm. And uh, North Korea said that we will not hesitate to attack Darwin. Which is a pretty big threat. Yeah. Mm. How far is Darwin from North Korea? Very far. It is beyond the reach of their current <laughs> missiles, if I'm okay. correct. Yes. Yeah. He's actually right. Yeah. I know it sounds like he isn't. But <laughs> no, 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 yeah. <laughs> but everything to do with North Korea is just speculation. Mm. Mm. The missiles they do or don't have, like, who knows? I don't think they have them. I think because they, they you, like, you can't Irish. test a missile going to space and, like, yeah. Not send it to space, right? Yeah. So clearly, there's there's like fifty thousand satellites in That's space, right. right? So and someone's seen it, and they have sent two missiles into space hmm. successfully so far. Did they go into space? They did go into space, but they just couldn't do the re-entry. So out which of which apparently the, is the trickiest part, according to the video yeah. we're quoting. Hmm. So they've <laughs> they've shot five of these ICBM missiles hmm. into space. Uh, three have failed completely. Two have managed to make it into space, but failed on the re-entry okay. so i'm not sure if you know this one because i don't either but is there's three types that they're meant to have one's like 2000 kilometer range one's 4000 kilometer range and one's 8000 kilometer range mm. and the scary one's the 8000 mm. right mm. i'm pretty I, they can already, I think it's 15000 right like that's the one that can reach really, really their really states i don't think yeah. they even have the 8000 one that's the one yeah. he's talking about is the... that's what they're trying to test right now that's right because yeah. i think 2000 and 4000 they have tested correct and mm. they kind of work so they they can get like japan and south korea correct mm. easily. yeah but there's there's yeah. two tiers outside of that that mm. they're testing they're and trying to make now but yeah. so, like from what we can tell they, they haven't perfected it yet 15,000 mm. is like proper you could hit anywhere in the world mm -hmm. mm. they could hit any major city in America mm. yeah which the US currently have oh, yeah. so the US can currently hit any city they want in North Korea which is why there's a bit of tension there of like 
don't do anything. Mm. Whereas North Korea's threat is if you nuke us, we'll nuke South Korea or we'll nuke Japan. Mm. Whereas once they have this missile completed, they can say, if you nuke us, we'll nuke you back, mm. which is kind of what they can't do. But they are threatening to nuke Australia, which they actually can't reach at yeah. the moment. Isn't the but, scarier one of their missiles the fact that they have a submarine launch ballistic missile? Because then you don't have to worry about range. Your sub could be just like yeah, sitting off the coast somewhere. That's right. I think no, it's there. I think the issue with that one is like, well, hopefully the military would know when the subs coming close. That's the point of sub though. You don't know. You you're a phys- no. you're a physics guy. Does it going underwater make it less devastating? They surface and then launch. Oh right. Oh no, actually no. I think it actually does launch from under the water. I don't know. But how it, the North it, it shoots does. straight up, doesn't it? And then comes back down. It still works the same as a ballistic normal ballistic mm. missile. They go on a ballistic trajectory, which means they like like they when curve. you throw a rock or something yeah. like mm. that. They they launch really high up in the air and they come down. But either <clears> way, they're saying they don't have it now, but they have it in like a couple of years. Like that's still scary. That's what everyone's worried about. Yeah. Yeah. They're like they won't have, they don't have it right now, but they will have it. So they're close enough it. that we have to do something about yeah. it. Probably. Yeah. Probably. Everyone's like, oh, it doesn't matter. It kind of matters. Mm. You know, they won't get you now, but they could get you we're, two years time. Yeah. Of all the countries, we're pretty all right, but like everything around Korea is like yeah. And I think yeah. a lot of people are saying that um, this sort of like even North Korea making statements that can be seen as a threat to Australia mm. is sort of Kim Jong-un being a bit more paranoid or I guess um, a bit more aggravated than his previous dictators mm. because they haven't made threats to Australia. Mm. E- even something that they actually can't do right now, um, it, are they just trying to make something happen mm. right now? Mm. Korea's always, North Korea has been, like they always threaten people though. Mm. They've never actually done much, except to South Korea, they occasionally, like, shoot a ship or an island or something well, like the, that. They'll have, like... I don't think they've actually <clears throat> attacked anything in land, but they've had ships fire at each other, mm. but nothing in the scale of a missile. A little or... while ago, an island got hit by artillery fire from North Korea. Are you There's sure? an island off the coast of South Korea, yeah. Huh. There we go. They do occasionally, <laughs> depending on the state of, like... Because they're always in negotiations with people because they use this nuclear mm. development program as, like, a bargaining chip. Mm. So when they, like, want stuff from everyone, they do a test or they launch a missile. This was how it was before Kim Jong-un. Mm. Now it seems like they're actually getting really close to having the thing. Mm. So it's, like, sort of the game stepped up to another level. Before it was like, oh, we, there's no way they're going to get it, but we've got to stop them from doing these tests. And they used to actually shoot at South Korea every now and then. So, big question, but... What should we do about it? I uh, when I say we, I don't mean us personally, oh, but yeah. like, what is it? What is the solution to this problem? <laughs> what are you gonna do, Jess? <laughs> do we just let North Korea keep keep going, or like, what do we do? It's it seems like they have to do something before yeah. they can target everyone on the planet. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, that seems like a situation that no one's gonna tolerate. That's right. Them having nuclear weapons. Mm. I hate when people like um, say it's like hypocrisy from America that oh you guys have nukes and you don't let someone else have nukes it's not the same though like america's had nukes for 60 years mm. well longer they had them when they in world war Two, right that's right um, that, that's when north korea that's when everyone got them right yeah korea well, got them at the same time through russia yeah well north korea has never actually had the capability though right of hitting anyone with a nuke you can test a nuclear weapon and it could be the size of a house you're never going to be able to use it strategically mm. Um, America's had the ability to bomb people since then, mm. right? They've never done it since Japan, um, which was to end World War Two, which was like a pretty ridiculous situation. <clears throat> when like you've got this balance that already exists, you don't want to upset that balance. That's what North Korea does. Like having them have a weapon upsets yeah. the balance. It's not like oh, America has them, so everyone else should have them. Though that would make it really scary world to live in <laughs> which that's what it all comes down to was it called nuclear proliferation they're trying to stop that right? yeah that's what the treaty is yeah. about but both Russia and America no longer really adhere to it because they're both in, they're both upping their, they're both saying they want to upgrade their nuclear capabilities mm. and the idea of that treaty was that you everyone reduces their stockpiles that's together right. and they stop developing it yeah you know what was fascinating about that mm. India has nuclear weapons you yeah. do? Yeah. Are they, like, super advanced and so I just does, don't know that? So does Pakistan, though. Pakistan, they, they had yeah. wars with the each other. But the scale is different, yeah. They, bought, they got them to use on each other. Right. Oh. Yeah. Crazy. I never knew that. Pakistan, South India. South Africa had nukes. 
thrown at the anymore. No, they they were the only country <laughs> to ever voluntarily give up their nukes. Wow. Yeah, what about Iran? Or did they stop developing? Uh, that was what the nuclear deal was about. <laughs> so they had to reduce the number of centrifuges they have, which is how you refine uranium, because you need this really refined uranium mm. to use in a nuclear weapon. But they never got to the stage where they had it. They stopped yeah, I don't think, yeah, they just had a really serious mm. enrichment program, which mm. that that's what the deal was to, uh, we'll remove all these centrifuges, we'll have inspections and stuff like that, and we'll take off like all the sanctions. And there's, it seems to be working. There's eight countries that have nukes. I think it was nine. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Go on. Uh, US. Yeah. North Korea. Yeah. Russia. Great Britain. Yeah. Russia. India, Pakistan. France. France. Mm-hmm. Israel's the last one. Israel. But they're unofficial. They've never declared that they have nukes, but oh, everyone knows that. Everyone right? knows it. Yeah. So yeah. Like, yeah, sure you don't. <laughs> yeah. We don't have it's nukes. In my <laughs> <laughs> why is uh why is there a nuke in your backyard, Jess? Not my personal one, but yeah. Anyway. Just waiting for a mate. Maybe South, South Africa. Just for a mate. Maybe Maybe done. <laughs> Guys, they're gonna come to my house. <laughs> okay. Is that it about that? Yeah, I think something is going to happen soon. Yeah. And, and I think something should happen soon. What would... Well, okay. If, if America attacks North Korea, mm. like a proper strike to mm-hmm. like destroy their military capability, they have like thousands of tanks, thousands mm-hmm. of artillery pieces, all that stuff. There's no strategic strike where they get rid of all of North Korea's mm. aggressive capabilities. They're going to attack South Korea. Mm. How do you feel about that? Like everyone would call out their reserves. Mm. So it could turn into like a massive war. Mm. Yeah. Right? Because this guy's crazy. If he's sitting in a bunker somewhere, he's the kind of guy who's going to order everyone attack. Like he is not- crazy. Um, I guess just looking at it from a, a, a like a backseat perspective of me not being in Korea, um, I'd be like, yeah, let's do it. Like, let's go to war because we'll, we'll smash them. Yeah, but America would smash them. Any comparison? Well, that's right. Well, every ally around them would constantly be bombing them, right? Yeah, it'd be interesting to see what China did. Maybe yeah. America would. Make They're a the deal wild like, card, right? Yeah. Well, if, but Trump if, keeps saying. They're going to help me. If America was ever going to get to the point of attacking them, I think they would make a deal with China where they'd be like, you guys get it afterwards. That's right. But we're going to attack it and it'll be yours. Yeah. Because that's the sort the whole balance. America, uh, China mm. doesn't want to have an American ally right next to their border. I reckon that sort of a deal would turn South Korea into the next North Korea. No. Really? I, I think so because there's that much... Yeah. There's that much... Um, they wouldn't be isolated, though. They'd have no reason to. No, because I think everyone in South Korea looks at it as that that's our land. Like, mm-hmm. that belongs to us. So if that was given to China, who Koreans don't really get along with, mm-hmm. that would be seen as th- this is not right. Yeah, right. but who's okay. going to go against China? Well, I think if North Korea falls, that land should rightly go to South Korea. But right. Um, yeah, I- yeah, I don't know how China would respond to that. Though. Yeah, mm. but definitely China wouldn't want that and they would want to take it, but I, I don't think that would be right. Mm-hmm. Um, and then it would be one nation. 